want to turn to Dr. Ashton answering your questions out there. Let's start with the first one here. Doc, a vaccine question. Do we expect new uh, virus variants to be prevented by the vaccine? Okay, so you're talking about two things here with this question. Number one, when new variants emerge as they are, will the vaccine work against those new strains right now? All indications say yes, it is still effective. The good news is that mRNA technology is super easy to change if we find that a new variant or strain kind of makes the vaccine less effective. We can make another one, just like we do with the influenza vaccine. How long every would that year. take, though? It's quick. That's okay. that's one of the real assets of this mRNA okay. technology. So again, very very important. That that's why we're doing this genetic sequencing on all these new strains to make sure that it's still a good match for the vaccines that the, we have out. I was amazed by the number. How many new strains? Oh, this there's 23, 23 as at this point. Wow, that yeah. is amazing to me. Uh, but they. Well, they, 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 uh, they, may, they, they mutate, mutate for, for a, living. a living. I love that line. That's right. Uh, question two here. Can vaccinated people still spread the virus? Okay, so right now, the clinical trial data, really interesting. They are showing that these vaccines, the Pfizer and Moderna vaccine, prevent disease 94, 95% of the time. We don't yet know whether they prevent spread of the virus because remember, someone can be exposed, infected, and spread it, but not get sick themselves. So again, we're gonna be following that. Right now, we don't know, but that also would be the holy grail if you had a vaccine that not only prevented you from getting sick, but prevented you from spreading it to someone else. But a question I've been getting a lot, once you're vaccinated, you can't spread that virus from that vaccine to someone else. These, these vaccines don't contain live virus. All right, question three here. This person looking ahead, Doc, what steps could we as a global community take so we are better prepared for viral outbreaks in the future? I love this question because it is so important in medicine and science and public health to learn from our mistakes so we don't repeat the same errors moving forward. When you talk about public health from a global standpoint and lessons learned from this vaccine, three areas, number one, better surveillance, not just here in the U.S., but worldwide, so that we are able to detect a new or emerging infectious disease more rapidly and then isolate and identify it and control the spread. Number two, agriculture, how we live with animals is critically important. Most pandemics start in animal species. Yeah. And number three, supply chain. We've learned a lot about how China, India, they get shut down. It affects literally the entire world, not just in terms of drugs, pharmaceuticals, but the supplies that we need, fillers, vaccines, vials, syringes, all of what we need in medicine and health. So those three areas I think we need to tighten up and improve so we can be ready right. next time. Next time. Oh, I need to hear next time. All right, Doc, <laughs> thank you as always. And you can continue to submit your questions to Dr. Jen on our Instagram at Dr. J Ashton. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.